Hey, this is Shannon. Remember, before we dive in, if you like content like this or my posts on social media like Facebook and Twitter, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. You can also check out my website, shannonbag.wixsite.com slash mbrs for my customized readings. You can check out my custom products where I make four leaf clover bookmarks and money art as well as my shop where I already have money art displayed, my recycled rugs, and other cool items. So let's get started into this video. You ready to make a cap rug with me? Let's go. Step one, save a ridiculous amount of caps. Make sure that these are in all good shapes and sizes, different size lids, from your, your bottles, from Gatorade, from your water, just all of the caps and lids that you would normally throw away, keep them. Step two, buy a really big board from Lowe's. Step three is going to be your trusty hammer and a good box of nails. You're gonna need more nails than you think. So here you see I've already nailed down several of these. Uh, I just had gone through, got some of the biggest caps, decided to put those on the edges and started to fill them up. I'd actually forgot to record that part of the process, but it's fine. video you'll see me using just my hands. Later on that changes because I end up nailing the high heavens out of my fingers and I felt like they were going to start turning blue at some point. So eventually you'll see me switch to gloves like a smart woman. cap on the ground and then nail it on the ground. That's just to kind of help with the hole a little more quickly at this point. Later on, I kind of catch my groove and figure that out. Here you can see I'm setting up some of these to be nailed in here. Really, it's not so difficult. Now, the first rug that I ever made, I was staying with an ex-boyfriend who was my boyfriend at the time, and our house outside was super muddy, and I just wanted something to scrape my feet on from my shoes from the mud, and I wanted something that I could stomp my feet on and really help me get it out. So I made the first one in... Landis, North Carolina, and it was, it was really cool. I got a lot of compliments on it, and it was very effective. Uh, when I first went to do it, which is how I even knew to use the nails for this one, when I first went to do it, I tried to use like that sticky putty or whatever, uh, like the glue type of stuff, and the caps would just pop off. Because even though they would set, if you're scraping your feet on it like this is kind of intended to do, then it's over time, like it doesn't take long for those caps to pop off. So from trial and error, I had already known to use nails. Now this rug is going to... Um, it's going to last about as long as a normal rug would outside, so real heavy use where you scrape, scrape, scrape your shoes, 
you know, it's not going to last as long as, let's say you're just putting it outside more as a display piece, it's going to last a little longer. But regardless, it's going to wear like a normal rug. You know, the more you use it, the more warm it's going to get. So my boyfriend and I were discussing the fact that there's nails sticking up out of this. Isn't it a little dangerous? And to me, it's give and take because the nails are going to help you scrape that dirt off of your shoes. Now you can use your bare feet for this, but I don't recommend it. You'd have to be super careful. It's meant for kind of stronger use. And this also really allowed me a, a lot of creative freedom. I'm an abstract artist at heart. I love things that are vague in design and it just allowed me to kind of make it up as I went. And that's what I love about art is it's not set in any kind of way. You can create and do Kind of what you want and I simply used the caps that we had been saving so it's mostly recycled stuff obviously I'm not going to use some you know piece of wood that's all rotted out I'm not going to use rusty nails so not all of this is recycled you know you, it is what it is but the caps are completely recycled it would otherwise go to the landfill so helping out a little bit hopefully make a little bit of money off of it. Maybe one of you really like it and want to buy it from me because I do plan on making more of these. Like I said, I've made them in the past and really enjoyed it. Got a lot of compliments on it. So this was a super fun project to get involved in. Here in a couple of minutes, you'll see me flip the board over and nail down the back because I thought that it was coming out uneven for whatever reason. And then I lift the board up and there's a rock sitting under it. So as soon as I move it, everything becomes more stable. So that was a little peevish. And I really just wanted this to flow however it was going to develop. You'll also notice that some of these nails, they like bend over part way when I'm nailing them down. That's fine. They were already in the board, so I didn't mind just nailing them over on themselves and moving on. Now, some people would say, Shannon, why are you not using a nail gun? That's quite simple. I don't have one, but if you would like to donate a nail gun to me, uh, you can support me on Patreon or you can directly uh, send me money through my Cash App or my PayPal um, so that I can go get one because that would be great right now. But. I don't have that luxury, so this is what we're doing. I think at this point, or shortly, uh, you'll see me just nailing in and not making any extra comments throughout the video. That's because I got a phone call from my mom that lasted, drum roll please, a whole two hours. Uh, I usually set aside time every month for people that I care about. So, like, once a month, I'll talk to my mom, I'll talk to my dad, I'll talk to my stepdad. Everybody's got their day of the month or their day of, like, the first week or second week of the month that I will call them at whatever time works best for them for that day. And I've set that up in order to create boundaries with the people that I love and care about. This particular day and time was not my mother's day and time, but 
this was what I was doing and I love her and needed to talk to her anyway, but there are times where I just have to separate the things and the people that I care about from my priorities. And so like I have a friend that I talk to on the 15th of every month at noon. I have another friend that I talk to on the 28th of every month at 8 p.m. You know, and I talk to them for however long they want to talk. That's their time. I set aside that time for them. And even if I talk to them in between, I know that I'm setting that time aside for them to create that boundary. And if I don't talk to them at all, it's a time for us to catch up. And if we miss that call for whatever reason, I just move on. So by this point, it's already well into the evening. And I'm still working with the light on. I had actually found out that my computer was saving my videos in three different places on top of where I thought it was saving. So these videos were saved four times for whatever reason. My computer was like, oh, we're going to make a copy. And we're going to make a copy of the copy. And just to be sure, we're going to make a copy of the copy of the copy. And so there came a point where I had to like go through because my computer was at negative 237 gigabytes and was telling me to clean stuff out. And I was like, why am I losing so much space? It's because all of this footage was being saved an additional three times. So every time after that, that I had to make a video, I would go in and delete all the extra copies it had made. And so the bigger nail that you see here on the corner, I had used that because of the thickness of all of the corner caps and I just nailed them down and I was still trying to figure out where this bulge was coming from and so you'll probably see me flip it back over again and not see the rock that was laying right underneath it and I did this on the ground because I didn't want to put holes in any of my tables just in case so that's why you see me sitting on the ground the whole time nailing this through. I do take intermittent breaks to go do X, Y, Z. You see that same rock? Right there. Right there. I could have got it. And I'm like putting my foot on top of this going, okay, so now we're good. Anyway, I am just super stoked for y'all to see the rest of this. I've had a lot of fun making this video and editing it. I have never done anything like this before. You know, a lot of this social media stuff and videos is just new. You also saw where I was trying to kind of measure using the boxes of nails that I bought just to center it as best as I could between the other caps. I think it still probably came out a little wonky, but that's art. Sometimes it works out the best way possible. Sometimes it doesn't. I just had a lot of fun and hopefully y'all are really enjoying this video. If you are, please smash that like button, subscribe to me, hit me up for some readings, for some art, some, you know, just to chat. I'm cool with that too. Yeah. I guess I was finally intelligent enough to grab some pliers.
at this point you see that I don't do really any side talking. I don't pull up the computer and slow it down and have a moment to speak. But I will say those pliers saved my fingers for real. I'm so glad that my boyfriend had a pair that I could borrow. And eventually you'll see me move out into the garage just because it is winter time here in North Carolina. You see I'm wearing two pairs of pants. I think I have a short sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt, and a hoodie on and it wasn't enough. So my boyfriend set it up for me to be out in our garage and you see him pop in and be all sweet like he is. He actually helped me. So I have, uh, embarrassingly, I have three phones and the headphones that I was using to block out the noise because that hammer and nail just gets loud and I wanted to kind of save my ears. And the headphones that I was using were only attached to one of my phones. And I am not always technically brilliant enough to figure out how to set it up to anything else. So I was using the one phone with my headphones and I plan on getting everything switched over to the one phone. And he was just so sweet in that he fixed my headphones for me uh, to set it up to my phone. Now I don't know why the video froze at certain points. It just, technology is what I'm going to blame this on. But you see it comes right back online. And, and he had set up this garage where we had a couple of heaters out there. And he really did it up nice for me. And so I really appreciated that. It was warm at this point. So I took off my jackets and I think I was maybe only wearing the one pair of pants at this point, but still needed the gloves. And yeah, all of uh, all of my up and down loveliness at this point. I will say I do get a lot of compliments on my hair. I love my hair. Besides the point, I also, in the background, I have a big board that initially I bought for one of the jobs that I was working on. I used to be a regional supervisor for a sweepstakes company and one of the stores needed it for privacy before the office was renovated. And then they quit using it. So I was like, well, I can use it. I, I bought it because I thought it looked cool and you could write on it. It's, you know, this room divider chalkboard. You can't see the whole mess of crazy that's sitting behind it. And I figured I would design it with some info about my art and my business. I sell money art. You can look at my website for that and purchase it. Uh, a lot of the stuff I have, but if you want something special, I prefer to make them per order. I also sell four-leaf clover bookmarks. I love collecting clovers. I find them all the time. And I had once found a 10-leaf clover that's mine. Uh, nobody's getting that one because that's my lucky number 10. Uh, but I do make specialized bookmarks. I can do custom or I have some designs that are just what they are that you can order. But it's a real bookmark inside. It's laminated. I plan on doing another video of the process of how I make bookmarks later. And then obviously I sell rugs like this and I also have fabric rugs that I make from recycled material like sheets and shirts and dresses and stuff that, you know, are stained or dirty or I'm just not going to wear or I would otherwise uh, donate. And so I make recycled rugs with fabric as well as caps and I do readings. The readings aren't posted on that board because you wouldn't have been able to see all that anyway, but you do see all the different handles like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I am on 16 different social media platforms, so if you cannot find me, uh, uh, you don't know how to use the internet. But yeah, I was much warmer in this scenario and... I had already filled in the middle and now I'm just going through and kind of filling in 
all the blanks and the rest of this and you'll see my boyfriend pop in and out now that I'm in the house. He never really goes outside with me because he works really hard. He's such a hard working man. I love him so much. I couldn't have asked for anybody better. And he's so cute. He'll pop his head in and out. You'll see a couple of times. And just being sweet and coming to check on me. And he's so supportive. I am very blessed to be in this beautiful relationship with him. I couldn't be happier. I get to craft. I get to do readings. I do astrology, tarot, graphology, stachomancy, palmistry. So if you ever have questions about stuff like that, you can always reach out. And I am going to encourage that you get a reading. I'm not just going to answer questions like how are my Mercury and Venus affected during this time. I'm not going to answer questions like that. You would have to book a reading with me. But they're super inexpensive for only $30 for a basic reading. I do health charts, compatibility charts. So like if you're having issues with a coworker. If you give me your birth information and their birth information, I can do a compatibility chart and describe where you work well and the things that don't work well and how to improve them. Astrology has absolutely changed my life. I've been studying astrology since I was 12 years old. I've been studying tarot since I was 9 years old. You see, he is so adorable. Look at him waving. He, he, he knew I wasn't paying no mind. I was so involved in my work and that's the kind of artist that I am is that I just get super invested in whatever it is I'm doing. You see the entire time I got like this serious face on, not to pay attention to the world at all. Got my headphones in. I'm just rocking out and trying to finish this up in kind of a timely manner because I have fallen behind a little on this project, but just because like we had to make laundry detergent within those couple of days and just cleaning the house and keeping up with the pets and the plants and just life in general. So anyway, he, he's the best. So I really appreciate y'all watching this video up through this point. And I promise it's almost done. I'm coming towards the end. And I was so happy to put that last nail in. I promise you. I'm gonna quit talking now and just let the rest of this video play out and again thank you guys so much for watching it's not over yet but I do just want to say I appreciate it if y'all have made it to this point A big part of what I do requires funding, that's why I sell products online, I book readings, and I ask for donations from lovely people like you. If you do enjoy my stuff, you can go to PayPal and send shannonbag at gmail.com. You can do cash app, cash tag Shay, K-M-B, S-H-A-Y-K-M-B. Or on my Patreon, which is Shannon Bag MBR. you can follow me on Reddit and Pinterest and Instagram as well among I have 16 social media platforms I'm sure you can find me somewhere mm -hmm. thanks for watching <laughs>